And we're back in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the Cayman Show. The show, the gift, if you will, that keeps on giving. And this show is no exception to that rule. Joining me now, representing Muso Finance. We'll get into what that is in just a little moment. Joining me now, two representatives from the brand, Alex on the right, Ryan on the left. Gentlemen, how the devil are we doing? Welcome to the Cayman Show. Exciting times, eh? The pleasure, yeah, 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 definitely. Thanks doing, for having us. Doing amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, brilliant to have you on board. So, obviously, somebody has been busy in the lockdown then. So, before we get into the, the finer details of all this, Muso Finance. So, so, you know, without giving too much away straight away, just tell us, first of all, how, where, when, and why did this idea materialize? Where did it come from? I think it was just um, a newfound love in, in sort of, uh, as you said, lockdown. Uh, and, you know, yourself, myself and Ryan have been involved in music in the past. We've got a management company now. And, um, yeah, it was an amalgamation of the two. I seen an opportunity and jumped at it, really. Uh, sort of started planning way before we, uh, we actually put the idea out there to, to the public. But, yeah, yeah, it's been interesting, stressful mm-hmm. and enjoyable. A lot Excellent of ups and stuff. downs. Yeah. Brilliant. So, so t- can you tell us about any of these ups and downs then? What's, uh, d- tell us about some of the downs first. I bet there's a lot of red tape to get through, is there? Yeah, I, I suppose, to be honest, it, it's more um, getting to know all the contract side of things and, and actually dealing with that. I still get stressed now when I have to make mm. a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a stressful ordeal. Brilliant stuff. Well, well, great stuff. It sounds fantastic. Obviously, I've had a look through it all. Uh, it, it looks amazing. I, I'm, you know, honoured that you came to me with this and, and said, oh, we can do this on your show. I'm, I, it's honest to God, hand on my heart. That's fantastic. Because the, the complete concept of this and what I met with Ryan the other day, and obviously he's, he's talked me through it, walked me through it. It sounds absolutely epic. Um, so, so let's just go through it piece by piece then, if that's all right, boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll start off. So, Muso Finance, in a nutshell, a couple of lines, first of all, then. What's it all about? So, Muso Finance is a, the foundation of it is it's a cryptocurrency. Um, so, we're not here on the podcast, just to point out, we're not here to give financial advice. Um, mm-hmm. Investing in crypto is, is a risk, um, and you need to read up on, on crypto before and make your own informed decision before you decide to invest. That's the first thing I want to put out there. Okay, mate. So the foundation that we've, we've structured is that in lockdown, Alex sort of got into crypto uh, and made a bit. And he said, well, look, right, this, this is what I'm doing. Um, and I made a, a bit as well. And Alex could sort of continue to, to, to sort of move through these cryptocurrencies. Mm. We were noticing there was a few currencies with causes. Um, and for us, one of the things that was hit the hardest through the coronavirus was the music industry is still bang on out. yeah big time massively you know I, I challenge someone to to point out something that's that's not been affected as much you know um so we come up with a concept where we would have our currency but in turn benefit the music industry excellent so a percentage of the the earnings we're looking at finding ways to reinvest it back into the industry. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant. Oh, well, that sounds awesome in a nutshell. I'll, I'll stop you there before you give too much away. All right. Cause uh, I've got a set format here on the Cayman show guys, as you know, if you've seen before organized chaos, this is not That's chaos cool. nonetheless though, <laughs> but all right. So yeah, Muso finance then it's a new and innovative cryptocurrency designed to reward holders with um, so shares of the profits from the UK limited company and tokens as well, was it? Or, so, sorry, so what there's was a, it? There's a, on every transaction is a redistribution. So 4% will go towards liquidity um, with a BNB pay, Muso. 3% will be redistributed amongst the holders. And then 3% will go towards the development wallet, which we'll touch on um, as we go along now. Excellent stuff. Excellent. Are you are you the figures man and all you? I try. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I just so I, I sort of come up with the old concept of it all and and know a bit more about that aspect. 
Brilliant stuff. So you've got a, you've got the edge. You've got a bit of experience there as well to bring to the table from uh, dabbling in your own crypto as well. Yeah. Well, I suppose uh, I've been rug pulled quite a few times to understand <laughs> certain aspects. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Brilliant. All right, then let's talk about your team then. So, uh, so who's who are you? What's it all about? Who's in your team? So I'm Alex. I'm the CEO. Um, you know, the founder, the creator sort of won with the vision initially and then passed it on to Ryan who you know Ryan yourself he, he just comes up with these unbelievable ideas and <laughs> doesn't he forward. just <laughs> yeah yeah and how we can move things forward and drive the project and and make it as big a success as possible really so I'm Ryan CEO <laughs> <laughs> fantastic good stuff and um, obviously we've got um Ash and Liam then who are uh, the other team members, so they they play a massive part in uh, in organising a lot of the events, the community sort of uh, fun and yeah, and basically just making it as as fun environment as possible. Um, also, as we get involved into the project a bit more now, um, when corporate decisions come around, them sort of uh, the guys will be at the forefront of that as well. Yeah, involved in that as well. Brilliant yeah. stuff. Excellent. Sounded great. So Muzo is, it says it aims to share a percentage of his profit to, uh, sorry, his profits annually to loyal holders as well. Can you touch on that at all at the moment or is that something but that's being minute, worked on? Or it's, it's a bit of a touchy subject at the minute. Um, due to the, the, the sort of lawsuit that's going on with XRP, we've got to get quite a bit of legal advice. Um, okay. So yeah, as they don't invest based on that at the minute, only because we have got to make sure everything's as smooth as possible in the background and ironed out. Yeah, that's fair enough. All, all the I's dotted, all the T's yeah, crossed, all that jazz. But but it is it is something that you are looking to do though as we, we as a business like, model. Yeah, hundred percent. We aim that's, to do that's it. That's the whole concept. So yeah. it's just finding the way to to do it, the, the correct yeah. legal way to do it. That's it. Well, if anyone can, gentlemen, so you know it's in good hands. I'm sure. You know, so you, you're also looking at doing a festival as well, uh, yeah. Muso Fest. Tell us yeah. about this. This has got a hold of me now. This has pressed my hot buttons as well. <laughs> Festivals are awesome. Um, where will it be? When will it be? What will it be? Who will be involved? Tell us all about it. Where and when is in the works. Um, but the concept of the festival is, um, it, from, from my research, the world's first crypto festival where you can go to a festival you can either just enjoy yourself all weekend or you can learn about crypto so we're gonna uh, what we wanted to do is educate people on crypto as well mm. um I so think what you do is like seminars as well is it that sort of thing in the festival it, 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 exactly yes you get the when you when you buy your ticket you get the opportunity to go to one of the seminars where we're going to aim to bring some of the biggest um, guys in that can advise um what to look for how to get into it the pros the cons wicked uh, exactly and obviously we want two sides of it then so you can either just camp normally and we or we're going to try and get some sort of a tent set up for the for the experts and people who want to trade where there's beds wi-fi tables and stuff um so we're going to try and make it that sort of um, innovative vibe um, mm. and, and i mean again it, so the when and where thing comes down to again financial we, we, we need to get that that back in initially because we want to make this as I said, not not just a UK festival. We want to make it worldwide eventually. Fantastic. So we need we want, our initial idea is to make it a major festival to compete with your Red and the Leeds, Glastonbury, um, and and various other big festivals around the world. Oh, that'd be awesome. That that'd be absolutely awesome. And you've got the vision there, boys. You know what I mean? What what you showed me the other day, right? And Ryan will tell you, my jaw was dropping. Um, my mouth was watering, my heart was pounding. I was just like, yeah, boys, this is absolutely amazing. The, the concept of this and the roots of it is absolutely fantastic. And, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, this is... The, go on, sorry. It's a passion of, of ourselves and you both. So, I, I, you know, what better guy to talk about it? <laughs> no, it's brilliant. It's, it's absolutely great, a great concept. And this is just the tip of the iceberg right here. We'll, we'll go into it a bit more now. So we've talked as well, and another, another thing you're looking at doing is grassroots funding for independent musicians as well. So obviously, 
like we've touched on the music industry as uh, basically <laughs> that's i wouldn't say that actually we don't know who's watching uh i was gonna say something about i just pan strip down etc cetera, etc cetera. you can finish the rest in your minds guys all right but the music industry as i just pan strip down and it's our spanked something dramatically in the last year and a half all right so it's a, a lot of people are suffering at the moment a lot of musicians are suffering at the moment um schools and colleges are suffering at the moment you, you know grassroots funding for independent musicians talk to us about that what's going on what's the so, deal um as part of the tokenomics we've got a three percent development wallet which um will be converted from user to bmb at at the minute it's set at every 420 billion now one percent of that development wallet will be put aside for this grassroots funding um so we're looking at doing it biannually and uh, we'll have a team of independent um sort of advisors researchers that will look into all these projects that could be, could be the potential um winner of such an mm. brilliant stuff excellent fantastic that's great and it's it's important that's a big selling point that is as well i think you know you know giving back to the musician on the ground you know it's uh yeah it's, definitely it's, it's a big I deal it's, it's a main aim for us and, and like a, a big focus of this project is for the musicians to get back on their feet and eventually be able to support them throughout their careers as well you mm. know i mean we've all been there starting out as, as original artists we know how hard it is to get that funding just to make the first record or the first video or get the right guy to produce the record so we want to be there just to support them absolutely you know give them a leg up, you know, give them the talent there we give you the leg up and then you can run with it definitely that's brilliant well it's like you say yeah we know how difficult it is and we know how bloody expensive it is as well these things don't come cheap you know to to record one track is uh, you know there's an arm gone to record an album two legs another arm may as well cut my bloody head off as well do you know what i mean it's, it's not a not a cheap thing to get into which that brings us be worth a bit of money now mine car you are buddy that beard has got to be worth a bit of money now mind yes it's just coming in it you know there's uh I can keep a few quid in there, actually. Like, but uh, that's another story. That's uh, I could do a whole other podcast on the beard. I did shave it off in lockdown, mind, and I made a couple of quid for the NHS over a grand for that. But it grew back, and it don't take long. It's just no. like shave, and then next day, poof, there we are again. You know. But yeah, talking of the the funding for independent musicians, then uh, that leads us on nicely then into the record label. So you're looking to create the record label with this as well, yeah. And one of the things which struck me about this was the proposed cut that you were looking to give to the artist as well. Uh, obviously, record labels normally are all about record labels and in it for the record labels, you know what I mean? Uh, your, your pitch on this is somewhat different, though. So do you want to just tell the viewer, tell the listener about that? Yeah. So uh, Musel Records eventually be a record label set up to give a fair share to the artist. Um, so I, I think the majors are on around from research is on around about thirteen percent. Don't quote me on that. What's that? Sorry, one three thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah, but did you yeah. get from the profit from your record sales? Whereas what we are going to look to do is advance the artist to get the pro get the, the the product, help them take it to market through hmm. through our network, um, and obviously then give them a fair split. So whether that's fifty fifty or however it works out depends on the artist. Um, you know, so they they actually paid fairly based on their work. So stay creativity with the generates yeah. the income. Well, that's it. That's true, isn't it? And it's, it is, like you say, it sounds a lot fairer and it sounds like a super deal for the artist as well in comparison to what they get if they went to, I don't know, Brand X over there or Brand X over there or whatnot. You know, it's great. So what's uh, what's the situation with the label at the moment then? Is that, is that something that's up and running just yet or is it a work in progress? Or No, no. So, so we've got a, a sort of, timeline plan in our head to be able to gather the funds because we, we want to go into the label with you know as I said enough financial backing to be actually able to to, to give the the artist the best possible opportunity mm. so I think um, we'll be working with a spotlight app first that'll be our um, our initial concept from uh, Musa Finance and then from there hopefully getting the festival on with on uh, show on the road uh, and then looking at the other aspects of business then in terms of the record label and everything else. Yeah. So they all with... roll into one another, basically. Then, yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a couple of other things that you were going to touch on there, but just for the viewers watching, I think this is released Saturday. 
on Sunday, there's actually a roadmap, a visual roadmap of the project coming out. So we're working with our marketing team very closely. We're going to produce um, a, a really nice, cool graphic roadmap. So um, rather than having to go onto the website, which you can mm. read um, the white paper, there'll be something visually for you guys to see on socials very soon. Fantastic. And that's coming out Sunday. Yeah. So this that'll is going out Sunday. Saturday. That'll be out Sunday. Um, regardless of that, and then just send me a link to it as well. And then on Sunday, I'll just drop it into the video description and everything then as well. So it's easier for people just to and head straight there then. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wicked. Uh, you touched on the spotlight app then, Alex. All right. So again, Ryan, when we meet, met the other day, you walked me through this the other day. It looks bloody fantastic as well. I'll be honest with you. It is fantastic. Uh, so you walk me through it. So what, what I'd like you to do now is for the viewer, for the listener, just just take them on that same journey you took me on. Take them on a little walk through. Obviously, we haven't got the visual that I had, but yeah, you, I think you know, with with Carl, I showed him the, the, yeah, no, the demo no. version, but we can't yeah. for, show you guys the demo version. <laughs> are, are you able to give them a little talk through though, and just touch yeah, on yeah. it, or? Yeah. So so spotlight app. Um, Basically, the, the concept around it is myself and Ryan and Carl, we, we've all been at the, in the position where we've got various amount of fans that love our music, but ultimately it doesn't get out to the world. So we're, we're hoping that the, the Spotlight app will give these artists the chance to, to, to get their music listened to. It'll involve a voting system whereby your fans can upvote you each month. Um, and like a, a basic social media platform then where you can contact artists. Um, the main feature, you can tip them with Muso. Awesome. And, um, and, and then we've got like a, a sort of a, a find a gig feature, which you can, you can search either pinpoint your area by GPS or type in your location and all the gigs up and uh, sort of around you will come up and yeah, you know, like I've been in a situation where I've been in a hotel somewhere. I thought I could really do a listen to a bit of live music. Mm. But the only sort of gigs or shows I could find were big artists. And a lot of the time, I don't really want to see them. Yeah. Or an ABBA tribute exactly. act in the lounge. Like. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And I think, well, well, just to add on to what Alex was saying there, that the, the voting system puts you into a top 100. So yeah. as, we know, as we now know, there, there are different charts out there, but the main sort of charts are, are, are with all the commercial stuff. Mm. So I'm hoping the Spotlight app is going to give people the opportunity or the public the opportunity to vote plus refine genres so this you can refine your genres um, and you get a, an overall top 100 in the app plus you can get rock jazz etc mm. etc and that's the same for when you're trying to find a gig as well you just search um, so you put your location in you refine the genre so i want to see a metal gig tonight um, you put your postcode in set your radius and then all of the gigs will come up and uh, so, so when you when you're on the main screen clicking through artists you, you've got a simple sort of um slide so you pick a genre or all discover and then you can slide you can follow um you know upload photos yourself comment on the artist's posts it, it, it's it's hopefully going to be the centralized app for all musicians um yeah. you know fans users whatever really but yeah with, with a built-in messaging system in there yeah. as well which we forgot to add there's a built-in gig system there so past and present gigs um, so it, it, it can really, for us, it's really a place where musicians can build their career and perhaps use that tipping function to work towards something. So if you're working towards that album, why not get on the app, promote yourself, play a couple of shows for the fans, get some tips, build your pot up to be able to, you know, to do the album. And ultimately, mm. like, you know, I've been sat in a couple of bars and, and, a, and an artist has been playing. I very rarely use catch anymore. And I thought I'd love to have given them something but wasn't able to because they didn't have cash now if you sat there I, you know you, you know what the band's name is or you could even search for where you you are on the gps you could click on the app tip and move yeah, be just just water. literally do it from your table sort of thing you yeah. know and yeah. uh, you know, you mentioned cash and with the artist. Sometimes you don't want to be seen going up to the artist and oh. handing them a fiver or or two quid or, or whatever, showing how tight they are. You know, you know, you don't want to be seen doing that. So at least you can do it discreetly from your phone then as well. And it gives them a buzz then when they go back to to their car or whatever. When they're like, oh, I've been tipped, awesome, you know, fantastic. After they've lugged all their gear away, it's like oh, I've had a tip for that. That's fantastic. Yeah. I think that's great, boys. That's brilliant. Also, what I like about that. Uh, well, the spotlight app is 
like for me, I'm often dotted all over the country on my motorbike, staying in various places. And me and the missus sometimes go away to random places as well. And when you're there then, as you've just mentioned, you can just tap in the postcode of the hotel, put a little radius up of however many miles around, and then it'll tell you what's where. That's fantastic. Because more often than not, we go to random places we've never been before. We don't know what pubs and bars do music. Uh, we don't know where live venues are, you know, but this is a, a fantastic concept, which will allow us to see and give us a bit of insight as to what's on our doorstep. Uh, you could go out looking for it, but you could walk three miles in the wrong way. And if you've gone, I don't know, 100 metres that way, you'd have had a gig of your life, you know, and this this exactly. spotlight app, so correct me if I'm wrong, will we'll tell you just that, what's where and when it is, exactly. you know, so yeah. that's Plus. great. Plus, you know, if you find a band you think you're going to like, you can just have a look at their profile, check their videos out and think, yeah, do you know what? These are worth seeing. That's it. See, it's all in the LinkedIn, boys, as well, isn't it? I like it. That's fantastic. It's brilliant. Brilliant. I love this. I'm, I'm excited. I am. I'm really excited. Someone else who is quite excited, particularly for the Spotlight app, Astronaut 2022. Uh, they've asked, what is the timeline for the app release? Do you know? Do you have uh, anything sure. in mind? The app is in um, the final stage of development at the minute. Uh, we've, we've got some testing to do make sure all the bugs and everything are fixed before we actually integrate the tipping function then okay um, so, so we haven't actually got a, a finalized timeline yet but we will be showing teasers very very soon excellent stuff how soon very soon for you but the <laughs> have to wait. <laughs> all right then i don't have to wait that long or not <laughs> good stuff I'll, I'll sign anything boys you're all right that's uh, no i won't tease it i would i wouldn't spread it you know me i'm mum's the word you know my word is my bond um so also another thing which touched on my hot buttons muso video podcast so first of all who's going to be hosting these podcasts and what are they all about well, this is our uh, proposal to you live on your show. Would you like to come across and do a bit of work for us? Oh, let me think about that. Oh, hell yeah, I'd like to come across and do a bit of work for you. I told you, I'm very, very interested in this project. It sounds like just what music needs. I, I don't mean just music in the local area. What music needs, what the industry needs, it sounds fantastic. And if you're doing a podcast about it, I'm a podcast party. I'm all about that. Um, it'd be a, an honor, a genuine honor to be involved. So yeah, count me in, sign me up. Sounds good. That's great. Definitely. So what's the, what's the concept of the podcast then? Uh, obviously it's going to be music related and muso related. So yeah. talk to us, talk us through your vision of the podcast. If you Please. can. Yeah, yeah, we, of course we can. So we've been speaking to a couple of guests at the moment. We're in the final stages and negotiating to get those on the platform. But um, the idea is to put all of the content out free on YouTube. So there's going to be different sections of the industry covered. So you'd have a producer on one day and someone mm. may come on and talk about crypto. Then you've got um, a master and engineer or perhaps a video producer, a manager. Um, that are all industry experts in the field. But every episode, they're going to be joined with an artist. Um, so there'll be a three-way discussion between the presenter, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the uh, industry expert, and the artist from, the, from, from an artist's point of view, so you can really get involved in that discussion. Um, and then we'll have a, an opportunity for people to send in questions for that special guest, yeah. the, the expert, should we call them. Um, and at the end, then we're going to have the artist play out so they can play us one of their newer songs. To That's awesome. That's awesome. It's like... Almost like Saturday night television, you know, or Friday night television, you know. Guest yeah. goes on, says their bit, plays the song. Everybody hears their new song. It's great. Everybody goes home happy. Fantastic. So what's the, what's the planned frequency of these podcasts then? Is it, is it going to be a weekly thing as a, a, every couple of couple of weeks? Or what's We're the... going to start off um, possibly doing it like once a month until... Okay, yeah. And, you know, steady out. Yeah. yeah. As you can imagine in a minute, the workload is unbelievable. I can imagine. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so we're probably possibly going to do it once a month and then eventually build up to, to, to a weekly podcast. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is, is generally is just suck it and see. See how it yeah, goes. And, Get and a feel for be, it. We won't be restricted to a week. It, it could be the, the one week we, we fancy doing three. You yeah. Know, it, it's... We'll be on a flyby then. We, we, we'll have a, hopefully as many guests as we, we need to last us a year. Mm. And we can plan a calendar in. Well said, definitely. Yeah, I, well, I think from, to, go I on. Just, from a production point of view, I think that's what we'll probably end up doing 
is is shooting four in one day, and, and then that's a, a month's worth. Um, Brilliant. I mean, so it, it's yeah. just them to do it that way. That's it. No, that's it. Brilliant stuff. Excellent. And you know, you you're quite well connected in the, in the music industry as well. So you know, I, I can't see there being a shortage of guests either. You know, so we've got some exciting ones lined up. Brilliant stuff. Like who? We can't. Share. I know you can't tell me, boys. I know you can't tell. Me. That's why I'm asking. I'm just being a dick. All right. I'm just being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Muso Discover. Let's talk about Muso Discover. What's this? Same sort of thing again um, on YouTube, but it's just uh, when, when the talent is starting to come through the app, and yeah. we see in that top hundred, um, it, you know, we'll, we'll pick, you know, um, cleverly with the people we think that will benefit the most. Mm. We put a live production show on them for them, broadcast live on YouTube. Um, All right, so yeah. A live show with a professional audio and video setup. Ah, nice. Yeah. It's like you again going back to Saturday night. You know, you sat there, music on the TV, a couple of beers or whatever you do, and uh, just enjoy the night. Jobs are good, and that's brilliant. Fantastic stuff. Excellent. Uh, tokenomics. What can you tell me about this? So basically, explained it anyway um, before this, but yeah, we got a three percent um, redistribution. So three percent goes back towards all the token holders from. Each transaction, four um, percent liquidity. So that's like a BNB moves up here in, which is our cushion, our buffer. Then as such, for the you know for the buy and sells, um, and then we've got three percent development wallet, of which one percent will go towards the grassroots uh, biannual funding. And we've also got incentive burns. So whereby um, tokens will be sent to a burn wallet, which can never be accessed again. Um, which obviously reduces the supply, increases demand type thing. Um, so we're, we're doing that on a on a holder basis. Brilliant stuff, brilliant. So it's all coming together, boys. Um, I guess the next question is from me and from people listening and watching. Where can they get involved, and where can they find out more? Um, you can do our website www.muso.finance. We've also got um, a Telegram group, which at the minute our community is absolutely outstanding. So you can just search for us on Telegram at Moves of Finance. Our Instagram is at Moves of Finance underscore. Um, Facebook at Moves of Finance. We're trying to keep the, the handle as uh, close to po as possible to Moves of Finance. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and we're always um, around or active in the community. If not, just drop us a simple DM, and, and we'd be more than willing to get back to you. Excellent stuff. So the coin as well, gents. Yeah. Um, is the coin live yet? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It is available. So on our website, we've got a purchase now, um, sort of tutorial. Which okay. Is, yeah, explains it in quite quite a uh, bit of depth. Um, and for the people who understand it, sort of, uh, it's able to purchase on Pancake Swap now. Fantastic stuff. Brilliant. Excellent. So, to, obviously, we've we've gone through most of uh, most of the pros involved with it all, all right, so far. We've and there's a hell of a lot of pros there. I'm seeing um, it sounds fantastic. But for someone who's totally blind to crypto, what would you what would you say to them about getting involved in all of this? I mean, the only thing we can say really is do your own research. Um, yeah, do your own research. Make sure that. Uh, Everything is as thorough as possible. Any questions, please ask. Yeah. Because we'll, we'll be happy in, in uh, guiding you on a bit about the project and, you know, sort of hopefully give you an understanding about it all. Excellent stuff. Brilliant. Well, it sounds fantastic, guys. I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm excited to watch it grow. Uh, so, I'm just excited. What can I say? It's, it's brilliant. I'm impressed. Uh, and uh, yeah, is is there anything that we have missed out or not touched on you that that, that you want to chuck in there before we wrap everything up, guys? No, I, I think um, we've got some future plans that that we're hoping um, to sort of be working on in the next couple of months, and maybe uh, yeah, we'll jump back on a podcast then, see where we are, and then we'll we'll explain all them. Excellent stuff, excellent. Well, thank you so much. 
for for sharing this with me guys this is a, it's a pleasure to not genuinely pleasure to have you on uh i'm not just saying it news or finance this sounds absolutely fantastic i wish you all the very best today i'm sure it's going to be huge uh people watching people listening website is going to be in the links below so click on that if you're interested in getting involved or up finding out a bit more information um spotlight app being launched soonish um we have, haven't got an exact date on it yet but and there'll be something up for you to look at on sunday as well guys the guys are going to get a link to me so fantastic yeah brilliant keep doing your awesome work guys keep moving forward i'm looking forward to being a part of the podcast this is going to be huge yeah just a quick shout out to the community viva la muso Viva la muso! <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming on the Cayman Show. Everybody watching, like, comment, subscribe. You never know who or what is coming next. Woohoo! Thank you.